Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Merchant Initiator Transactions, or better known as MITs. First, what are MITs? MITs are transactions initiated by the merchant on behalf of the customer, without the customer having to enter their card details again. We can achieve this by saving the user's card, tokenizing it on MAMO's end, and returning to you a card ID that you can use later on to charge that card. To achieve this, we use the Create Payment Link API. If you're here, then you're perhaps already familiar with it. When you scroll down, we added recently a new option called Save Underscore Card. Save Underscore Card has one of three values, either Off, Optional, Required, with Off being the default behavior. If it is optional, the user can opt in or out to save their card details. If it is required, the user will not be allowed to pay unless they enter their card details. Let's see it in action. This is a sample payment link that I just created with 499 USD as the amount and save card required. When I go to the payment link returned in the response, I will get the following page. If I go to enter my credit or debit card and enter my details, As you can see, I am still unable to pay my $500 unless I opt in to save my card because save card is required in this specific payment link. Once paid and the charge is successful, you can get that, card, uh, that card's ID by either using webhooks or by get fetching the charge details. For example, if I want to get the card ID for this specific charge, all I need to do is fetch the details of, the, of that charge and in the response, I'm going to get the payment method. The payment method object contains the card ID, the type, the cardholder's name, that's for digits and origin. I can take that card ID and then pass it to another API called initiate payment. Initiate payment takes the amount, the currency, and the card. And then I can charge that card instantly without the user entering the details again, without passing through OTPs or anything. Completely seamless uh, payment. And to see more about MITs, you can go to our API docs and go to the Initiate Payment API. Here you're going to find an explanation of how it works with a sample that you can use and play around with. Good luck!